Hi everyone, Darko here. Welcome to my new calibration video in which I will show you settings after calibration on Samsung 65 KS8000. This is KS8000 series for European market. Same model you will find in US under model name KS9000. On the other hand, European KS7000 is KS8000 in the US. With that being said, I will open menu and jump straight to picture, where you see that I've selected picture mode movie for calibration. By default, you will get TV in this standard, really poorly adjusted mode, which I recommend you switch as soon as you get TV to movie. Now movie comes really accurately set by default. Almost no adjustments are needed. And I did several measurements, especially with color checker and noticed that in terms of colors, we can consider this to be already factory calibrated. Still, some may find movie mode a little too bright and uh, also with gamma, which is a bit too high. So after full calibration, I did small adjustments as you will see. Next on the list is special viewing mode, basically for watching content like Blu-ray and streaming with standard dynamic range content, you don't need to engage any of these settings. So let's move on to picture size. So it's important to have picture size 16 by 9 standard and fit to screen auto or on. Now let's go deeper to expert settings where you see that I've selected backlight, that I've set backlight to 8, my target is always around 200 nits and by default it was almost 260 nits, so too bright. I consider this value optimum for most viewing environments. Brightness as was default at 45 and contrast I reduced to even out gamma and also to avoid this pinkish whites that are plaguing Samsung TVs by default. Sharpness 0 uh, since this is UHD TV, you might want to increase this depending on how close you're sitting. Basically, this will then introduce a little bit of halo effect if you go over certain values. But why not? Give it a try and find optimum value for you. Color, same as default 50. Tint, also default. Next option is to copy all settings to other sources. I recommend once you get picture you like, that you copy it to other sources, it's really simple, you just press OK and OK, and that's it. Digital clean view for movies and quality sources I recommend keeping off. Analog clean view is only for analog sources, in this case is disabled. Auto motion plus, this is motion interpolation and blur reduction menu. It works the best with blur reduction at 10, jada reduction at 0 and LED clear motion off. If you want soap opera effect, you can adjust this control here. Ok, let's go back. Smart LED, so by default, without local dimming, without this feature engaged, you will get around 3300 to 1 ANC contrast. And if you want, especially for dark room environment, you can select low, it works fine. High is maybe too, too strong effect and basically it might distract you. So off or low depending on viewing environment. Next is film mode, which is disabled for progressive signals. HDMI UHD color, so only for UHD content should be engaged for input you are using. HDMI black level auto works just fine. Dynamic contrast off. Color tone warm 2 will get you closest to D65, which is our target. White balance, there are 2 point and 10 point controls, so I did these adjustments for 2 point. Red offset plus 2, green offset 0, blue offset minus 3 red gain plus 1, green gain 0 and blue gain minus 3. Now I've noticed by default that at 10% grayscale there was too much blue in picture, so I only did in 10 point controls for interval 10% 
blue reduction to minus 30. As first step I would recommend you do not touch this stand point at all, you keep it at off and observe if you notice any blue cast in shadows. If yes then think about this adjustment. Other values I will show you just a couple. They are all at the default 0, 0, 0. Okay, let's move on to gamma. So by default gamma was on average about 2.33. My target was gamma 2.2. So with gamma plus 1 I got this really flat grayscale at 2.2 on average. RGB only mode should be disabled. Color space custom. You can go with either auto or custom for watching Rec. 709 standard content. And here are my settings. So for color red, we have red 30, green 8, blue 1. For green, we have red 26, green 43 and blue 6. For blue we have red 0, green 7, blue 46. And let's go to secondary colors. Yellow has red 53, green 48 and blue 7. Cyan has red 26, green 46, blue 49. And finally magenta, red 27, green 11, blue 38. And basically this is it regarding picture settings. All these settings which I've shown in this video are also available in my store on payhip.com website. You can check link below. And by purchasing these settings you will also support my work. Thanks to your support so far, to all of you who bought these settings, I managed to get new pattern generator, Meridio 6G, and I used it for the first time to calibrate this TV. Of course, this pattern generator now allows me to do HDR10 and Dolby Vision calibrations, so stay tuned for those settings as well. And basically regarding this model, after calibration, really accurate picture with nice colors and great details. Of course, as usual, it's a VA-based LCD panel, so optimum picture quality is only if you sit in front of the screen or from small angle. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!